Jeremy Lafitte. Boy, you smell like pee pee. <laughs> oh, do I have a good one for you guys today? Oh boy, this is gonna be delicious. Anyway, welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. My name is Christopher Belly. I'm a certified CPA accountant. I'm a long-term bogleheaded investor. I'm author of the book, Stop Being a Broke Loser. It's on Amazon. And today, we're going to talk about Jeremy Financial, Financial Education's credentials. So apparently, Jeremy is being threatened by all the criticism he's receiving. Because, at the end of the day, he's a gas station manager. And he used to plunge toilets at Walgreens. That's his qualifications. And of course, what does that mean? You guys just throw your money at him. Oh, Jeremy, you're such a genius. Here's my money. Here's $2,500. But oh, Strongman has a course for $50. Rip off. <laughs> so I actually printed off this document. I don't know if you can see it that well. But it actually has Jeremy Financial Education's credentials. Now, I don't know if it's uh, backwards for you guys, but... You know, back in uh, elementary school when I took spelling tests, I thought credentials was not spelt that way. Uh, <laughs> that's right, ladies and gentlemen. This freaking clown right here can't spell for Jack. And you go on his course, there's so many typos and half-assed, like, you know, titles and errors on his videos. It's a joke. But today, I'm sorry, I had a burp there. I just had some crazy Taco Bell, man. Oh, I actually had too much to eat. My stomach's freaking exploding. But we're going to talk about Jeremy Financial Education's credentials. And I have this beautiful printout I can read off of it <laughs> so I don't miss anything. <clears throat> so credential number one, credential, D-C-R-E-D-I-N-T-I-A-L-S. <laughs> He's such an idiot. <laughs> number one, investing since late 2008. Oh, Jeremy, you started investing right after the uh, stock market crash because of the Great Recession and the real estate crisis. Wow, you've been investing in a bull market your entire investing career. That means you have some amazing credentials. And at, at the end of the day, I don't know if he actually started investing in 2008. And even if he did, just because you were investing, doesn't that doesn't qualify you for anything. You could have bought the most trash freaking stocks in human history between 2008 and now, that doesn't qualify you as somebody that can charge $2,500 for two years of your freaking trash course. And I was in it, and it's trash, confirmed. I made videos about it. Credential number two. <laughs> but just spell check your freaking work, you idiot. Studied economics, markets, all the way back to the Great Depression. He studied them. What do you think he means by studying economics and markets? Do you think this clown has a PhD? Do you think he's written a thesis paper, you know, for his economics freaking ma or a PhD? No, this clown went on Wikipedia and skimmed a couple articles. That's all he freaking did. What d Define studying economics and markets, Jeremy Lofufu. Because obviously if you actually studied markets, you would have been easily able to identify a market bubble, apparently, but apparently not. And I guess you should have been, you know, adept at identifying massively overvalued stocks that had no earnings and what happened to those stocks once the market corrected. But I, I don't know, maybe you, maybe you missed that part of your economics lesson. So, you know, he's been investing since 2008. He's uh, studied economics. He's, he's got a PhD in economics and a uh, another PhD in markets, apparently. <laughs> Keeps track of the stock market. This is credential number three. Keeps track of the stock market every day for 12 years straight. So you mean to tell me, Jeremy, on Saturday morning when the market's closed, you open your freaking stupid Fidelity app or Robinhood or whatever you use, and you check the markets. You check the markets every single day, even if they're freaking closed. Oh, I I check the stock market every day. I look at the stocks going up and down. That means I'm a genius. <laughs> These credentials are a joke. You know, there's, there's nothing in here about like, you know, past experience in finance or, you know, oh, I have a, you know, a PhD in accounting and I worked for KPMG doing valuations. There's nothing on here. It's, I've been investing. 
I read a Wikipedia article. I checked the stock market on the weekends. Number four. Here's his biggest credential, ladies and gentlemen. Millions invested. He does have millions of dollars invested in utterly trash companies. And how many times do I have to freaking tell you people? He gets his money from his courses and YouTube. He's an idiot. He has no idea how to value stocks. I got a million dollars invested. I mean, my freaking son, he just turned one. You know, I could uh, give him a portfolio of a million dollars. And my son, who's one year old, could literally post this same freaking slide to show off his credentials. My son has millions of dollars invested. He's freaking one years old. He doesn't even wipe his own ass. So good job, Jeremy. You sold a bunch of lies and you're still sadly making money off YouTube. But yeah, I mean, you do have millions invested. Number five, he's got connections. <laughs> Let's talk about Jeremy's connections here. Uh, Ball Breath Brian, the guy that basically pumped and dumped uh, Voyager Digital. And you did, you little scammer. I know exactly what you did. I see right through you, little loser. You bought a position in the stock. Yeah, try to advertise it on big YouTube channels. And then it had a massive run up. And now that stock's been devastated. But you know what? You're, you're a real hero, Ball Breath Brian. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to revisit you again. Don't worry. But oh, he's, he's so amazing. Oh, my God. <laughs> and this is the guy that Jeremy consults for financial advice and advice on the markets. Uh, what else? What are what are his other connections? Uh, Andre Deke. Oh, I know how to do magic tricks. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Ho, 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 ho. Look at me. Crypto is the future, bro. Graham Stephan. I'd say that's actually a decent connection. I'll give you props for that, Jeremy. Somehow you wiggled your way into Graham's good graces, which is, is really sad because Graham should not be associating with the likes of you. A total scammer and idiot. Number five, number six, large personal brand in stock market space. Jeremy, nobody knows about you except a bunch of uneducated retail investors on YouTube. You're acting like you're a freaking hedge fund and, you know, or you're a well-known investor like Ray Dalio or, you know, <laughs> Warren Buffett. That isn't you, Jeremy. You don't have a large personal brand. Your brand is a joke. Your course is a joke. Everything you do is a joke. You are known throughout YouTube as the idiot that bought the top of a massive bubble in 2020 and 2021. Because that's what you did. Every single one of your stocks, every single one has been devastated. Not one. Not two. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes, you know, you, you know, do your math wrong. But no, every single stock has been devastated. And you continue to charge people for your stupid course. So, yeah, you got a brand. You got a brand as a freaking loser. And find <laughs> point number seven. Listens to hundreds of conference calls per year on HB. Hungry Bull, that's it. It's your stupid app. What wonder how much money you've lost on that. <laughs> Okay, so you listen to the conference calls. But you know what I don't see on here, Jeremy? I see nothing about, you know, past experience, like I said, analyzing stocks. I see nothing about like an accounting background or understanding financial statements or any kind of experience in valuation. All I see is the most basic crap. Let me see if I can do my credentials, okay? Christopher Bell, my credentials, and I would actually spell it right, you know, but that doesn't matter apparently. Investing since 2011. Number two, studied accounting, master's, bachelor's, CPA license. Uh, yeah, studied a bunch of accounting all the way back to the Great Depression. Yeah, I've actually read uh, a bunch of literature about the Great Depression and going forward. I was a history major too. Keeps track of stock market every day. I don't check the stock market every day. That's stupid. Why would you check the stock? If you're a long-term investor, why would you check the stock market every day, you idiot? Number four, hundreds of thousands of dollars invested. But guess how many grift courses I've sold? Well, I guess some people would count my uh, my seminars as grift courses. And I made $1,000 last weekend on it, okay? So I, I have generated $1,000 in grift money. So I, I, I guess that counts. That makes me the equivalent of Jeremy, you know, CPA teaching accounting versus uh, toilet plunger teaching stocks. Five. Connections. I mean, I, I don't really have any connections. So, I mean, I guess Jeremy beats me on that front. Six, large personal brand in the stock market space. Well, I have a brand and I got some things that are large, but <laughs> but my channel isn't that big yet. But just give me time, Jeremy. Give me time. And seven, 
listens to zero conference calls. I don't listen to conference calls. I can I don't have to waste an hour and a half of my freaking weekend listening to tattooed chef Sarah Coletti Mabletti, whatever her freaking name is. Tell me what how amazing her burrito bowl tastes when the freaking company's burning cash left and right. I can read the financial statements and I can read a summary of what they talked about in the conference call. You don't have to risk listen to the conference call, ladies and gentlemen. So I got some credentials. I guess Jeremy has better credentials than me, but I mean, just look at this. What, what is this? You're an it dude. There's nothing on here that qualifies you to buy individual stocks. And there's sure as hell ain't anything that on here that qualifies you to charge thousands of dollars for your expertise. So I just wanted to let you guys know that, uh, Jeremy is just, uh, the, the jokes with this guy write themselves, man. Like I pulled up this slide and I was like, I immediately noticed he spelled credentials wrong. And I was like, is he doing this to troll us? Is he doing this on freaking purpose? <laughs> maybe he is, or maybe he's that dumb. I don't know. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.